think our guys went and competed hard against a good football team in a hostile environment. Um, I think we've proved that uh, we're capable of playing with, with uh, the best teams in this league. Now, uh, what we've got to learn how to do is we've got to learn how to finish and win those type of games. And uh, that's what our job is. This is a production business, and uh, uh, it's about winning and losing, and, and uh, we weren't able to get it done yesterday. I think what you saw uh, yesterday is that you know when we're able to keep the game in balance uh, and we're able to run the ball uh, and stay balanced as an offense, uh, that that you know we're going to be able to run the ball. We're going to be able to have some explosive gains in the passing game. We're going to be able to move the ball. Uh, we got to do a better job of scoring points. Um, but uh, uh, you know I think we had 484 yards of, of offense. But you know at the end of the day the game's about you know scoring points and winning games, and that's what we got to find a way to do better. Pass rush and pass coverage work together. We were able to get um, you know more pressure on the quarterback. Um, yeah, I think we had 17 hits on the quarterback in the game. Uh, we were able to affect the quarterback a little bit more, um, and, and the interceptions came with it. So those two things worked together. And so there you hear Dennis Allen the day after the Raiders come away with a loss, 23-20, to the undefeated Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Falcons, welcome back in Chronicle Live. The post-game live crew is together again. Bill Romanowski and Lorenzo Neal here. Uh, comes down to a last-second field goal, and the best team in the NFC beats you moral victory for the Raiders. Is that how you look at it? You know what? On some level, I, I don't believe in moral victories. A loss is a loss. A win's a win. They won, we lost. Yeah. But guess what? I like that they played better. I like that defensively we made plays. I like that there was a sense of urgency out there. I like the way Carson Palmer, other than the one play, had control of the game. So bottom line is this was a, this was a different team that showed up in Atlanta, and I don't think anybody was expecting it, Love. Is this a moral victory or a building block moving forward? I think it's a building block, like Bill was saying. When you look at this team, we saw them play against the Pittsburgh Steelers, a team that they did beat, but Pittsburgh scored 31 points. They had to score 34. They're on a shootout. When I looked at this particular game now, and you saw this particular game against, you know, the NFC's best team, best record in the NFL, you saw this team come out. They played good on special teams. They played good on offense. They played good defense. So this was, I thought, the first game they played collectively together as a team. So without a doubt, this was the best team the Raiders, best outing the Raiders had. Is the, this closer to the real Raiders, or is the team that played Miami a few weeks back closer to the real Raiders? Well, you know what? is you always have to, you know, one thing about the NFL is, you know, it's a long, arduous season. And you want to get better each week. Well, guess what? They got better. And that's what you want to build on. You, know, you can't build off what they did, you know, against Denver or what they did against Miami. You build on what they did against the Atlanta Falcons, and that, to me, is showing progress. Offensively, they ran the football very well, over 140 yards rushing, and they get McFadden going over 70 yards. Why is the running game starting to work now, Low? Well, you saw with Dennis Allen, he's been able to make some adjustments. He said, look, guys, I understand. I've been listening to you and Bill. So I understand <laughs> your dad's a one-trick pony. He's a north and south guy in Goodson also. And you saw him run lead draw. You saw him run slant. You saw them running counters. You saw him getting to the outside. You had 170, 140 yards, 150 yards rushing. But you got to realize, too, Coase, they had another 60 yards, 80, 60, 70 yards in penalties. McFadden had two two runs for over 20 yards. So he had 41 yards, and he, he would have been over 100 yards. Goodson had another 30, 40-yard run that got called back on holding. So they ran the ball consistently yesterday, threw the ball consistently. They did, they grew. This team grew yesterday, and they're running more north and south, and they've adjusted this running game, and I like this team, and I think they're going to get better. Let me ask you about coaching then, because all year it was, well, it's zone blocking, zone blocking, zone blocking, and yet they're adjusting to something different. Is that because they were failing or because they're smart enough to realize the personnel they have and put them in the right position to succeed. Well, Dennis Allen is the CEO of this team. And he's got an offensive coordinator that all of a sudden is not quite getting the job done. I think he stepped in. They looked at it collectively and said, you know what? I think this <laughs> pressure that we're getting, there's got to be some truth to it. Because the proof's in the pudding. It wasn't working. You have arguably one of the best running backs in the league and he's getting stopped for one, two yards at a time, give me a break. They made some adjustments, and now he's running downhill, and he's gaining yards.
All right, end of story. That's the right system. That's the way things are supposed to work. Defensively, they came up big as well. At the start of the year, they hadn't had an interception, three interceptions against Matt Ryan. Why, why is it? Better coverage, or is there pressure coming from somewhere else? I, I thought it was both. You saw up front, the front four, five, bringing in blitz. They put pressure on Matt Ryan. Every time he tried to step up in the pocket, Seymour and Kelly had pressure from the inside, Carter on the outside. So when you have a pocket quarterback like Matt Ryan who wants to step up because the rush is coming outdoor, outside, and you have big guys in the middle, they can stop. It took him away. He was frustrated, and then what do you do? He threw picks. I thought the defensive collectively, they played better as a unit. Yeah, that's what you had, is you had collectively they played better, but it was the sense of urgency, Low. They got out. <laughs> they brought it. Yeah. And they brought it from everywhere. It wasn't defensive line played well, but the DBs couldn't cover anybody. Collectively as a team, they went out there. 11 guys basically said, hey, it's up to us, and we're going to go out there Manu, Manu, that's my guy. He's not going to make a catch. Well, guess what? I saw Huff make a big interception, okay? I saw Hanson come up with a big play. Sure. Great reaction. And, you know, so those kind of plays. And then, uh, Devon. you know, Javon, yeah, Javon Branch. He, uh, Tyvon Branch, he, he made a play because he had a good rush. Sure. So you put that all together, that's great team defense. Now let's see if they can build on that as they get ready for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Lo, where'd you get that tie? You know what? I got the jacket from Costco. Why are you guys on me so hard? Bill, you know, Bill wanted to know where he got that because he I says, mean, they, I ain't chopping hair. Hey, they, you know what? Did he get it new or used? Hey, I'm looking at this. It's, it's black. It's silver. I want to be the you Raiders. Look, you, you know what I'm trying to I'm trying to represent. The tie. Yeah, hey, you know what? He said I should be a clown and start dancing. All I know is this. The Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> can I show you, him you the little move? Know, he's going to no. show us the yeah. move, Give me your move. Give me your move. <laughs> That's only what I'm only you. Bill Romanoff can get away with that. So, yeah. so I'm just looking at this, guys. The Jacksonville Jaguars are coming to town. Play nine on seven, turn it into a dog fight, put nine guys in the box, leave my clothes alone. Let's go win a ball game, huh? All right, everybody. We'll, we'll see you later. later. There we go. We'll see you later. There we go. Come we got on, more. Come on, <laughs> <up>. crying a lot. <laughs>